Hello and welcome to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. We are continuing our adventures with the Dark Urge. Previously, after the coronation of Archduke Enver Gortash, Raven and the party arrive in the Lower City. In their search for Minsk of Rashomon, Yahira leads them to the secret headquarters of the Guild, a powerful criminal syndicate led by Nine Fingers Keen. Nine Fingers informs Jahira that Minsk has sided with the Absolute Cultists and is going by a new title, the Stone Lord. Because of the Stone Lord's transgressions against the Guild, Nine Fingers has ordered him captured and killed. Raven suspects that Minsk must be under the Absolute control. Raven and Jahira find out that the Guild is planning to trap him at the Counting House. They arrive at the Counting House and talk their way into the vaults below, in time to find that Minsk has already been captured. However, he easily frees himself. Unfortunately, Minsk appears to be taking commands from a shapeshifter disguised as Jahira, and they escape to the sewers with all of the stolen gold, leaving the party to deal with ballist assassins. In this episode, we continue where we left off in the Lower City Sewers, on track to find Minsk of Rashomon. Ooh, there's a chest here. Starring, please. Someone there. Lockpick. Oh, for a skeleton key. Mm-hmm. He doesn't roll, like, higher than a 15 lately, have you noticed? I mean, he still has a lot of bonuses that take him over, that, you know, help him succeed, but that's ridiculous. I knew that would encumber you. Let's um, put some of these boots away. That too, send a cap. Docker gloves, you know, additional rolls. That's what I wanted to give you, actually. Send that to camp. Send that to camp. Okay. Go. Still breathing. I think before. What's that? Ooh. I think before we do anything else, we're gonna take a quick. Ooh, nice, a key, and a scroll of wall of fire. How much further can I go? We're just going to take a quick detour. Hmm. What's that? 40 gold scroll of dominate person. Okay. I might actually just use that in the next fight. Oh. Is that... Is that truly you? Oh no. I thought I might never see you again. Oh no. No. No, you need to leave. You put as much distance as you can between yourself and that monster. Monster, Gil, you're hurt. What happened? Monster. Orin. Orin the Red. She snatched me up from our camp and brought me down here to her temple. Ballist Enclave. I totally forgot about this. Ten day? I totally forgot. Longer? I can't even tell. She, she, she did things to me. Such awful things. Even I don't have the words. She, she took things from me. She let me run. She likes the sport of it. And told me I could earn back what she cut off. My trophy. She said, if I could outpace her. Look, you can't fight her. She's too strong. Turn around. I'm done running. I'll buy you what time I can. All right, we'll turn back and figure out a way to deal with... <laughs> out a way to deal with her, thank you. I'm not leaving without you. You will not stand alone. We face her together. Gail, what exactly did she cut off? <gasps> okay.
Oh my god. I don't know why this stresses me out. Okay, Gail, what exactly did she cut off? Oh, a few choice cuts and sweet meats. Nothing fatal. Not with my knife work. But perhaps a tad. Ooh. Diminishing. Look at it. Father's favorite, all lost and wandering. Have you forgotten the way home? I just wanted Should a waypoint. Set your lapdog to screaming. That could help you find the way. The Gortash spoke the truth. You've been following me. What have you done with Gale? Nothing. No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Baal's temple. <laughs> I will save him for you. We can peel his corpse together once the Bainite is dead. Gortash betrays us, bloodkin. He sets a leash to our slaughter, uses us to drive the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill the tyrant, smear him across his rock-rotten halls, and pluck the netherstone from his carcass. Then we jewel a sweet slaughter kin. The winner claims the stones. Baal's true chosen. The loser rots on his altar. Agree? And I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Shit. So, this was Orin's intention. A combat against a fellow scion of Baal. Witnessed by the Lord of Murder himself. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Warren's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Baal may be his slayer, I will become his chosen too. Do we want to be Baal's chosen? Kill Gortash yourself if you. I think you're truly Ball's chosen. Ah. Kill Gortash yourself if you think you're truly Ball's chosen. That festering inadequate bound my blades when we first conspired. His crimson is not mine to spill. It must be you. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Come to my temple before you turn Gortash to Carrion. And I will ready your friend's corpse to greet you. <laughs> oh, man. Baal is waiting, Slaughterkin. Do not disappoint him. Okay. Um... Okay, so first of all, Tim Downey in that moment was fucking incredible. Evil Gale, like Orin Gale, sorry, just gave me chills. That is amazing. The last time I did this, it was Lazelle. And also here, I totally forgot that this was going to happen. I totally actually forgot that <laughs> Orin had kidnapped somebody, so, um, okay. What I wanted to do is I want to get to this waypoint. Maybe this vendor over here. Vendor has pretty cool, uh, 
druid robe as well. The penitent looks at you silently, expectantly. Who are you? The penitent doesn't respond, holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. Hmm. You're running a shop here, are you? The penitent doesn't respond, holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. All right, what do you got to sell then? There is the slightest flicker of acknowledgement in his eyes. This is what I want. Oh, and this is what I want too. The Bone Spike Helmet. Or Carlac. Armor of Moon Basking. So... A Lunar Bestial Vitality. You gain 22 temporary hit points after casting Wild Shape. While those temporary hit points are all active, reduce all incoming damage by one. Lunar Bestial Fortitude, you have a plus two bonus armor class. You have advantage on saving throws against spells. This effect persists while using your Druid, Druidic Wild Shape ability. So this is, if I plan on Wild Shaping Jahira a lot, this would be a really nice piece of armor. Not gonna worry about getting this just yet because I think I wanna look at another piece of armor in Sorcer Sorceress Sundries, but we know it's there. And this one is definitely a good one for Karlak, but we'll get that later too. Uh, I want to get a couple of hyena ears while we're here. Okay. Anyway. Penitent blinks, you think. You were dismissed. Yeah. I realize how utterly impossible it's going to be to record every... Um record like all exploration of everything because there is so much to look at even in the sewers here like I just made a beeline right for where um where Mink's mission is there was a lot to do oh there is a backpack here um nope you got friends in the guild Introduction to this blood spattered piece of propaganda. Unkind people say to me, but how come the guild carved up the lower city like so much pumpkin, slicing it into segments for kingpins to rule from the shadows? Which I could only shrug and reply, delegation mate. How else are they supposed to get anything done? To carry the analogy a bit, the pumpkin was ripe, and if it weren't cut by the guild, somebody else would have. Me? I'm grateful it was Nine Fingers and our organization what got the cutting, carving knife out. Unlike a lot of vested interest in the city. Unlike a lot of vested interest in the city, the guild actually want what's best for the city. Their view is this. If you have if you got to have crime, you better it be organized crime. Okay. Take this. You could keep your rotting stuff. Oh my god, and you are encumbered once again. And that to camp. Oh, that's right, because we have gales and that camp. I'm sorry, Gale. I really am. Really, really am. That was really kind of distressing, actually. I like Gale. I really do. Okay, we'll go this way. All right, this is where we need to be. It's gonna be quite a bit, actually. So. That water looks tainted. Better to avoid it. Oh. Nicolette. That's. Oh my God, buddy. Let's see what this does. Go this way. Oh, please, L. Come on. Up again. Holy shit. Come on, let's go. Is that blood? No, never mind. 
helped me to find a way forward. Okay, so let's us. Uh, and try to sneak over. Ever ready. You have passed without a trace. You know you do. Get rid of enhanced sleep. And give you a pass without a trace. Very good. Okay. Keeping my head down. Quiet. Step carefully. Hmm. Just as I oh. was getting bored, our lord sends us a little diversion. I was trying to be sneaky. All right, then. Best be on my way. Aura of murder. Gonna quicken a spell. Okay. Oh, come on. The fucking birds. Okay. These are the worst. Okay. All right. Blind it? Are you kidding me? Broke ladder. Oh shit. Oh well. That's fine. Hmm. They all have 24 health. Are you kidding me? Oh well. Let's deal with this one. What 
What's that even do? Ah, uh, so pointless. This way. Victory awaits. On the move. That's a um, menacing attack. Right, and oh man, one more. Okay. Hmm. I need these birds to be in one spot. I haven't killed any yet. It. Oh my god. All right. Sorry, Astarian. Well, at least I fried one. I'm gonna actually take a haste potion here. I'm gonna do that again. Let's fuck them birds. Did I totally miss them? Oh my god. All right. Bye. One. I am fury. I am death. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but that was kind of fun. Ooh, there are many targets. Like that. Stop it. Hacking a starry into death here. <laughs> All right. Calm down. Please just kill them. I think the next one will. No? Really? Let's do this. I really need to. 
victory awaits. Okay. Uh, start shooting things, I guess. Or missing. Please don't miss. Jesus Christ. Stop. Charm. At least these birds could be charmed. Good thing this is an honor mode. Things have stayed interesting. No. Curse to put my hands on everything. I guess we're going through the gross water here. I didn't mean for you to. No, I don't want to do this just yet. There's a whole puzzle that way that I just don't want to do just yet. Not in this episode, at least. We will get to it, but... Oh boy, there's a lot. Okay. All right, we're almost there. We have one long, uh, short rest left. Indeed. You still have in it. Still have no luck it's points. Really you got superiority die, and you're okay. You got wild shape. So let's uh. Well, ends. No, not as bad as it could have. Astraria needs a couple of potions, I think. Got be small potions. Probably not. Well, let's take one more of that. Okay. I guess we'll be done. Okay, you're good. An efficient path. Oh, right. This is annoying. You have to die. Sorry. Okay. Where are you guys going? Come here. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is... Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Raven and group. Actually, Watch your back. Starion, can you? Watch the shadows. Lock picking impossible. Okay. And group is Starion. I'm back here. So we're gonna do this. Right. Anyway, what we have to do is we kinda like Wonder if the gods are watching me. Note to sanitation workers. You probably don't you probably want to open the sluice gate so you can get into the cistern and muck it out. To do that, you need to manipulate the valves to get the water level and heat level to their optimum levels at the same time. Don't get scalded. Okay. Took a bit of a break, and now I'm back. Okay. Um So we have to get through here. We can't lockpick our way through here. Um, and I know there is an easier way, but I guess this is kind of like a walkthrough, so I wanted to just do it the way that I remember doing it. So what we have to do, it's really, really annoying. So we have to make sure that these little 
arrow hits this middle area here for both of them. So this, I believe, is the temperature valve. Yeah, the temperature valve, and this is the water level valve. So we just have to make sure that the water is level and it's at the right temperature. Oh. Okay. Uh, emergency release valve in case everything goes bad. So I think I'm going to start with... No one stopped me yet. This. Fire lot rising, and then start the heat. Let me just wait to see what happens. <laughs> as long as I hit the middle column at this about the same time, I think we should be okay. Ah, oh, shit. Perfect warmth. Okay, let's try that again. Intestines throb. Blood whispers. I would get out of the way. Oh boy. Keep your distance now. Overheated and flooded. Already already opened. Was I like messing with this all this time and had already somehow opened? All right. Quick step. Nope. Don't do that. Oh my god. All's well that ends. Oh, not as bad as it could have. Can you fly now? He's level 11 and he could fly. Totally forgot about that. Okay, uh... Let me put this over here. Where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna put this somewhere very obvious, though. Uh, <laughs> let me replace armor of Agathis. I just remember that it's there. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go on. We're gonna look for Minsk. Let's go. One day I'll catch a break. One. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Acid, fire. I'm not doing very well, am I? Empty crates. What's the point of putting that down there? We got everybody? Okay, very good. Okay. So the name of the game is We're Saving Mix. I'll talk about that when we get there. So we go through this uh, tunnel, this pipe. Very scary. The first time I was here, I was very scared. I was like, what am I supposed to look out for here? Ah. Better not be cursed. I would really seems to be stuck. Seems like a good moment to talk. Yeah, let's talk. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We send to him are so long past our own godly roots. I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? Uh, rodent? Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect, and you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought. Wait. Flop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you! On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the guild hall. Oh shit, okay. Oh no, okay, we are in number one mission.
we gotta get this person. Tell you why. Um, yeah, it's been... Last time I was here, fake Jahira still wearing clown makeup. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh... Got a number of things that could probably hold this person, but... Um... Let's start off with maybe one of these. Saved. Ice storm. All right, so I'm going to do this. And I'm also going to... Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, Snickers. Okay. I'm going to step over here. Jesus Christ. That was rough for you guys. Um, not enough resources, movement speed, okay. I have a very, very bad feeling about this. Are you kidding me? All right. I'm fury. I am death. Make way. I'm going to try to menace you. Miss. Okay. We're going to try that again. Critical miss, Jesus Christ. Saved, all right. There is a reason to this madness. Good. Step quick. I promise you. Person. Target must be a humanoid. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Alright. Swift and lethal. Huh. I love it when they slip. Dare you? Feel. Do not kill him. Find another. One. And don't you worry. Understood. Don't you worry. I take no joy in this. Yeah, you do. spell that shit. <laughs> Shahira! You have an evil, much uglier twin sister? Vinsk does not like this. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Ha 
Go here. Sorry, my dear. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm out of... I'm just gonna park myself over here. Let's spill some blood. Very important that she doesn't get away. Oh my god, okay. Stop it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> you then. Is this a fake to hear? Okay. <laughs> no! No! Calm down. There's a reason for this. I'll get to it in a bit. Unstoppable. Screw you. Okay. Mm-hmm. All this to save mixed. And get a whole bunch of money. But I'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so I will... Hold. Target must be a humanoid. Huh. I feel bad for killing Roa Moonglow, but I had to. Anyway. Kill this one, nurse. Yeah. You could die. Let's turn someone inside out. I'd like you to take a potion. All the opportunity attacks that you hit. This will do nicely. Come on. Victory awaits. I hate you guys. Really, really hate you guys. Um try this. I don't know this. Try to make you bleed. Worked. 
It did not work. Jesus Christ. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, well. Ooh, hold on, what's this? Wild shape, Dilof Dilophosaurus. I don't want that. Hello. <laughs> Go this here, going. this way. I'm just going to position ourselves here a little bit. I think we have one, two, three more kitties to kill, so take care of this one. Yep. Mm -hmm. I could go Slayer form right now, but I don't want to. I don't really want to. You are not I don't think I need to do that, but, uh, let's just... Oh my god, I really hate you. Let's see if I could flourish him. Well, at least he's off balance now. You need a potion, dear? Let's do a superior. That's all we need. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God damn it, I hate. Stunned. He will not take me. No, okay. Actually, what I'll do is I'll jump up here. I'm gonna try to knock this person off. Okay, that works too. Still held? Please, please kill it. Okay. I react. It's dead. With finesse. Time to strike. Jump this way. <clears throat> One more. Okay, very good. All right, so now we turn on non lethal. What must be done? Uh, just jump down. No. Yeah, he'll be fine. Oh. I could have gone badly. <laughs> uh, all right. Non lethal, still, right? Okay. Radical hit. Good for you, Jira. do here For no AOEs okay so we will let's say some Jahira let's have some carnage all right please do not all right I will ascend. 
Oh, gee, uh, Lazelle is dangerous. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage flaring brighter every moment. Cute. He won't stay down for long. Tell your Eurylithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. This wretch has stood against your father before. No. You tremble to end him. No, 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 no. no. Your rancorous body yearns for it. No, we don't care about our father. He's too far gone, better end it. Nope. I'm gonna protect him, I must defy my urges. That's gonna be a roll. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. Okay. To us. He's to hear his friend do it. His unpredictability saved the city before. I have words. I'll talk about this in a bit. Perhaps you're right, it may be a big risk. Wretched mangled pile of good. I should end him. You will do as I command. save that um i don't i don't know if i've ever done this option you will do as i command no i will not be coerced into protecting him you do not see what i do his thoughts his mind pure chaos he should know who he is poison in your ear i think tell it i will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit i can find Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. It's Minx, though. Come on. Okay, first of all. Emperor. Dear Emperor. You claimed that you were a traveler. You claim that you know Baldur's Gate, and yet you don't know Minx. You must know who Minx is. You must know. Why would you not think that Minx could help us? Would you really doom us all to save him, Jahira? My body's telling me to end him. She bluffs. She would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. It doesn't matter. Help him. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by. Battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. Jaira? Hmm? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first, you have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? Mr. Hero insisted. Because I'm infected too. I know your actions weren't your own. A level head and a kind heart. 
It is well that Boo kept me from crushing either. I would be rid of this parasite. Minsk takes orders from only one tiny beast, and he is much cuter than any mind maggot. He is... Uh, he is... Where is he? Oh my god, I, I would die for Minx, not gonna lie. I love him. I love Jahira too. The fake Jahira. Okay, let's follow Minx before we loot everybody. Actually, no. Wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, I just want to make sure... There was a reason why we went after the halfling. There's something good here. I hope. Ooh, armor of devotion. Okay. Uh, we'll send that to camp because I think we are kind of overload ourselves, but we found Racket's gold. And that's 10,000 gold. That's gold. Uh, here is lethargic. Okay, and I am properly overweighed, encumbered. Okay, let's um, send that over to camp. That should be okay. All right. Here, a letter from Orin. The Stone Lord's skull echoes with absence and the tadpole alone is not enough to fill it. Take on the crone's dust pocked form and fill his thoughts with old adventures so that he might smile sweetly when, while he slaughters for us. And do not pulp the rodent if it's chittering gives the stone lord pause and set it aside for me so that we might give the great hero a final meal when his work is done holy shit that is dark okay yeah what's this really gauze i can drive all the faces to know that you earned orange approval gauze and managing the mad Rashemi is an important assignment but you're letting this whole jahira impersonation go to your knobbly head you don't even drop out of it when the stone lord is asleep however simulated boss or no you don't have to be openly disrespectful in ordering the rest of us around your harper gig won't last forever and then you'll be one of the shalara again we'd rather be your friends but 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 Aww. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so. I love Jahira. I love Minx. They're really fun. I'm kind of. A little bit peeved. A little bit peeved that we get them in Act 3 near the end of the game. And I wish we kind of had them for a bit longer. Uh. Old chicken. Let's grab that. Okay, let's go see what Minx is on about. I just love their whole tie-in to, like, the Baldur's Gate franchise as a whole, right? So they are literal heroes. What's up for discussion? Hello, Minx. My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Okay. <laughs> I do trust you, I think. If this is a trap, you die first. My friend, only cowards lay traps. And Minsk is no coward. So there can be no trap, yes? <laughs> Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him. Pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. 
I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? Oh, such boundless compassion. You are all heart. And whiskers. And cute little nose. Hmm? Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Mins to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, Aww. meet you. Hello, I am Raven. This is your great beast. Did you hit your head by any chance? Of course. How else was I to break through these walls? Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo! Why do you use such language? <laughs> uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. Okay, okay. He says we will join with you and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil together. Together. And I trust you not to turn on me again, Stone Lord. Okay, you can go to my camp. I have things to do. Boo and I are most adept in the doing of things, but as you wish. To camp then! For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings. Very good. All right, all right. Holy crap, that was a that was a fun adventure. Anyway. Mail fist? This. A mailed fist in the fire cam armor style. Curse to put my hands on everything. Turnip. A humble turnip, preserved yeah. by drying. A warhammer? A worn but still capable warhammer, sized for a halfling. A pair of wings? A wood carving of a pair of wings. Like an eagle's, but longer somehow. Okay. I think for sure it's time for us to go to bed. Uh, take a long rest. Let's get out of here first. Let's uh, kind of loot everything that we can. But that will fit in my back. Stone Lord sketches. A series of line drawings in various stages of completion. Each grows more detailed than the last, as if the artist is struggling to remember exactly what the subject is. Some manner of furred rodent with an active, intelligent face. Aww. He misses Boo. Pick up. All right, let's uh, use. We grab everything from here. Ooh, Scroll of Otto's irresistible dance. That might come in useful. A uh, gorgeous maroon dye and seventeen gold. We'll grab this painting, sell it to that art vendor up in the lower city, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I like Roa Munglo as a character. But, you know. What's inside? 10,000 gold is 10,000 gold. And I don't know if there's any other way that we could, uh... I really don't know if there was any other way that we could have, uh... looted that. Get back back its gold, that is. Because I think we'd have to fight them anyway? Let's go up here. Hopefully we don't all die. Okay. 
All right, I think we're gonna take our long rest here. Nice safe place, so let's go, go to camp. Or we could clear out. No, we're pretty dry, okay. Uh, so here we are in our pretty miserable camp. Oh. Where's the... Oh, that's right. Almost forgot. Gale is kidnapped. I was expecting to see him there. I was like, that, uh, that corner looked really empty. Dr. Karlak, do you have any insight on all this? That bloody freak won't get away with this. That's oh. my wizard she took, and we're gonna get him back. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna talk to... Let's talk to everybody. So, we kill Gortash, or Gale dies. <sighs> hmm. It is not an easy call. On the one hand, killing Gortash would be fun. On the other, Gale can be very annoying. About that. Hmm. We probably should save the wizard, though. He does have his moments. Stop that. If anybody has not yet seen the one shot with a... Uh... Oh my god. High rollers with a cast of Baldur's Gate 3. The origin cast that is. Take a look, it's worth it. It's hilarious, it's great. I love it. But I'm a big Critical Role fan, so that stuff is my bag, and I, you know, High Rollers is great. So, and yeah, it's just, it's just fun. Hello. That face thief Orin's made off with Gale. We'll need to rescue him. Unless we actually intend to kill Gortash for her. Not for her. Well, damn it all. We've got to get Gale back. If that means killing Gortash, nothing would give me greater pleasure. Uh, okay. Lizelle? Orin thinks Gale's abduction is an ultimatum to kill Gortash. Foolish woman. As if I needed more reason than I already had. <laughs> okay. Um, let's talk to Jahira. The great Orin the Red tugs your sleeve, sulking for attention. She might come to regret it yet. Gail has lived under the threat of death for some time. But Orin will make him beg for it, if we give her the time. Okay. I wish they could give me some advice. I want to hear from them whether we should go after Gortash or whether we should try to save Gail. I mean, either way, we're gonna save Gail, right? On your guard! Who knows how long that slipskin serpent was hiding in our camp? She our camp? We just got here. Killer. Or Minsk's pillow. Or Jahira's pillow. Or perhaps not a pillow at all. Maybe she was pretending to be Boo. Please be serious, friend. She can mimic a form, yes, but not a hamster's obvious charisma. But perhaps she was his pillow. Oh my god, I've never heard this one before. No matter. Things are not so dire. Yes, Orin has taken the wizard. But he is our comrade, and so we are going to save him. Simple enough, no? So let us be about it. I don't know. Actually, I'm kind of undecided whether or not we should go after Gortash first, uh, or if we should go after uh, Orin first. The, if we go after Gortash first, it might be really, really difficult because He's got the steel watch. And we still have yet to save Will's dad. 
Azora told us where Will's father was. And I think we should do that first, just to make sure that he's safe before we kill Gortash, either way. I kind of also want the challenge of killing Gortash with the Steel Watch present. You know, there's a point where you could deactivate them all, right? So, yeah. In any case, I'm kind of, I'm also kind of glad that it was Gale that was chosen and not Yenna because, uh, I don't know. I like Yenna. Uh, some people think that she's annoying, but she, she's, I think she's adorable. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients and I'm going to make something really good. I promise. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So I think we're just going to leave that there. We badly need a rest. I think in our next episode, we'll take our long rest. We'll start with our long rest and then see what happens there. I'm sure stuff will happen because we haven't taken one in a bit, but thank you so much for checking out this video and, um, kind of a long one. So thank you so much for checking out this video and playing Baldur's Gate with me. I'm so glad we have Minx in the party now. Uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to play with him for a little bit. Him and Jahira are going to be in the part of the team. So that'll be really interesting. Jahira, Minx, and the ball spawn. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Ciao.